Hi, and welcome back. And sorry for the delay in videos, but real life has been catching up to me lately, and I might not be able to do these videos on a weekly basis, as I have been doing before. Uh, but I won't let you be hanging out there in internet land without MRE videos, because there's still plenty of MREs for us to go through together. And one of those today are the launch part from the Swedish 24-hour ration pack, menu number 3. And that will be beans and sausage stew. Uh, the, I, the, was, the only date I could find was the expiration date back here, April 2017. So it's fresh in MRE standards. We're gonna have some roasted and salted peanuts with that. We're also gonna do the sports drink. We're gonna have some hot sauce if this needs to be spiced up a bit. We have the chocolate bar. We have a licorice hard candy. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do a review on a licorice hard candy proper yet, so we might skip this. We're also gonna make a cup of coffee and we're gonna have some licorice dental gum afterwards. But enough chit chat. Let's start preparing and see where it goes. So let's start with preparing the entree. And it's easy enough. We have our, by now, familiar Flamer's ration heater. So let's tear it open up to the top. And put the entree in. For those of you who follow Kiwi Dude, he has the exact, the same one, the menu number three. So I'm actually looking forward to see his thoughts about this very same ration pack. So let's take our canteen and fill up to the fill line with water. And be careful not to overfill. Just a teeny bit more. Fold it over twice, and because we don't have a box to put it in, just two clamps to seal it up properly. Put it on its side. Or actually, did this just only to fold over once? Better do what it says. We don't have a catastrophe on our hands. Clamp it twice and just put it on side and see. These flame refraction heater heaters are a bit slower than the the ones you get in the United the American MREs. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. But I don't know if you can hear it, but it have started to go off a bit. I want to make sure it really does before I put it aside. Yeah, this is good. So let's put it on a incline and start looking at everything else. So let's start doing the sports drink. The sports drink, after some careful looking, was required over here 500 mils of water and that's what I approximately have in here so let's just pour it in there if you can hear that whizzing in the background that's the FRH please, please stop doing that I'm trying to do a review come on okay we're gonna have that in the background. Let's start doing. Let's see here. Let's see if this has the same. It says grapefruit. Okay, so it's not grape. Let's just pour it in there. Now the bottle is almost full. There we go. And give it a nice shake. Make sure it mixes properly, which it already did. That was nice. Let's put it over here. Here. Uh, let's take the 
take a look at the chocolate bar. 25 gram chocolate bar. It's has oxidized a little, but not as much, pretty much the same as the last one I had, so we'll know that would be probably quite good. We also have the roasted and salted peanuts. I put my coffee mug here we go still a bit of a hit or miss on the water because it doesn't say but two-thirds of a foldable coffee cup around there somewhere where the magic limit I still wish they actually put packed some sugar and creamer for the coffee in these but the standard in Sweden is actually black coffee or maybe that has changed but it's still like black coffee is what you want to have but I want sugar and creamer and I miss not having it in these there we go so Let's have a closer look on the peanuts and it's just regular salted peanuts and that's what they taste let's have a let's spoil our dinner by taking a look at the dessert Mm. I really like this chocolate sorry I really like these chocolate bars they're not as they, they, they taste chocolate and are not very sweet or sugary well they're not bitter either but it's not milk chocolate and I like that let's have a quick taste of the grapefruit drink This was actually quite nice. It wasn't as sweet as the one I had in the earlier one. I wonder if this eat, if this contains a lot of sugar. Indeed it does. But it isn't as ridiculously sweet as the last one I had. What flavor was that? Was that? I don't recall, but I, I recall it was quite sugary well enough of that let's have a look at the coffee and see if we did it right this time yeah yeah that uh, tastes like it should mm, so around 140 to 200 mils depending on how strong a coffee you want Um. There is nothing more to go through, except the hard candy and the and the gum, and that we'll have for later, and the hot sauce, which we'll save to the entree. So while that still gets a bit more warmed up, we'll have to wait. And here we go. Now the entree has been going on for approximately 15 minutes. And let's move that away. So just let us unclamp it and these F4Hs are nice because they have this little tear notch a bit further down so it's easy enough to open up and get the food out. So here we go and yeah, it feels like it has been warmed through properly. Still very, the pouch itself is very warm. So let's just tear it open on the top. 
and let's see how it looks. It's very runny compared to the other entrees I had. Let's see if we can get everything out. Might be needing a spoon. Let's have a taste test. Bean and sausage stew. Here it is. Hmm. The sausage doesn't taste very much. And neither does the beans or this sauce it's in. It's a very it's a very weak tomato sauce, I think. The white beans taste white beans. So there's nothing strange about that. But the sausage was a bit bland. Let's take that half sausage and some beans and some peanuts. Let's see if that helps. The salt from the peanuts does give this some more, some more taste. So, we're going to do what I, what I did with everything else. We're gonna open up the... actually this one is easy enough to tear. We're gonna tear open the hot sauce. We're gonna put some in here. Something like half of it maybe. There we go. And we're gonna pour in all of our peanuts. Give that a stir proper. Let's see how much this helped. It did help some. Could probably use a little more hot sauce. But we need to save some for the dinner part later. Like salt and pepper is something these MREs need as well. So you can actually put the spices in that you want. Mm, this is quite good. It, it's a bit bland, but it's not... It's not like that breakfast part I did, when you just felt sad afterwards. The sausages could taste more. They're a bit just there at the moment. The beans and the sauce the beans came in was quite okay on, its, on itself. But um, this needed some salt. Like, from the peanuts, that, that helped. And the hot sauce really helped. So, like this, this is quite okay. On its own, mm, it's a bit bland. It's not, it's not terribly bland, but it could taste more of something. The, the tomato sauce could be more have a better taste of tomato and that that would probably help or the sausages could be more spicy or something like that but overall this is a quite lunch and yeah i like it 
so I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna have a look at that dental gum for afterwards and here we go the final part the licorice dental gum if you watch my earlier video we had that strange blueberry vanilla gum but this probably gonna be better so two pieces of licorice dental gum It has a really strong licorice, li licorice flavor. It's not sweet at all. And I know it doesn't contain salt, but it has a little salty flavor to it. So I prefer this gum way better than the blueberry vanilla one. Even though the blueberry vanilla gum wasn't bad. Well. There's nothing more to go through, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Until next time, um, and the dinner part, happy eating.